What's good guys, welcome to the video and as you can see from the title of this video today we're going to talk about why I stopped using dating apps. Before we're going to hop into the video, if you like this type of content please subscribe, like the video and feel free to follow me on Instagram, it's all in the description link down below. I remember downloading my first dating app, I think it was Badoo or something, right, this, this purple dating app thing. And I remember being even nervous to make an account because as you guys know, or as you guys might not know, I used to suffer from crazy social anxiety back in the day. So for me to already even create a dating app there, you know, obviously I was 16, I was very young, but I was absolutely, I was scared, man. I was really scared to even download this freaking app. But I remember I got to a point where I got a few matches, right? I was like, oh my God, what's going on here? And I started texting with some girls. I was shaking to even text, right? I was shaking with my fingers to even text someone that I didn't even know in this dating app. So when I finally reached 20 years old, right? I was 20 years old. I finally had the balls to go on my first ever Tinder dates. For me, experimenting more and more with Tinder dates, dating app dates, I realized, you know what? This is not making me a better man. This is actually not making me any more confident. This is not helping me level up on life. So after a while, I started to realize you know I'm not gonna use these apps anymore but then I had to face something else when I quit these apps I realized something I realized that I had no social skills and that I was only able to meet women through drinking alcohol and going to the club or swiping on tinder right I've always had kind of these pretty boy looks right I had, used to have this long hair lush for hair very lean athletic body so I never really struggled with getting a lot of matches on tinder or any dating app but the problem is that you know it still made me a very insecure person. I had two options. Okay, I'm gonna continue going to the club and I'm gonna continue hopping on Tinder in order to meet women. Or am I actually gonna build up the courage, build up my social skills and all the other things needed to meet new people and meet new women outside these dating apps? Thankfully, that's the route I took. I took the hard route, so I had to increase my social skills, my confidence, my charisma, all those things in order to meet more people outside of these dating apps, right? So the first thing I've realized about dating apps and where they mess you up, and that one is going to be that it's going to absolutely crush your social skills, right? If you never even face rejection, because that's what happens with dating apps, right? You don't have to face rejection head on. Sure, someone is going to ghost you here and there, but that's nothing compared to real life. So what happens is that you become very soft to a lot of social situations and you're not able to really increase your social skills, especially with the other sex, right? So this is what I've realized myself because I was continuously using these dating apps. I didn't even know how to speak to a woman in real life anymore. And then I looked around as well and I realized, you know what? The majority of men don't even know how to do this. You know, for me, the idea became so crazy because let's say I sit in a little coffee cafe right I drink a coffee and I see all these pretty people around me right then you hop on tinder to swipe on your freaking dating app well so many people are next to you to talk to to flirt to as a potential partner or even a potential friendship right this goes outside just dating this also has to do with just building up your social skills so it's so weird to me at some point it's like you know what let's be honest every man here on a day-to-day -day basis you're going to see a lot of pretty women right why not walk up to them why not have a chat maybe you think it's weird maybe you think society thinks that's not what you're supposed to do maybe you think you're going to be a creep if you're going to listen to all those things and all those societal boundaries you're never going to live the life you truly want right you need to be strong and you need to be able to push through those things and just understand that this is something normal and this is something you want to do in order to improve yourself and I just saw that if I become totally dependent upon these dating apps I'm not going to build my social skills up because I realized I had a problem right I realized I did not really have the social skills I wanted and you first have to get to that point right you have to admit and you have to confront to yourself that you're not where you are right now in a lot of areas in your life but that's very difficult for a lot of people because what happens when you confront yourself you're gonna have two options now to just live the way you've done all the time but now actually understand that you are not living up to your true potential which is very painful right it hurts to not live up to your true potential if you know you can do better or the other option is to move into the discomfort in order to improve your social skills right so it's going to be pain regardless but from my own experience the hard way is always the best way because that's a fulfilling pain that's a pain you choose that's a pain that makes you stronger but the pain of inaction the pain of not doing anything that is not going to make you strong that's going to make you feel weak and next to that you're also going to feel the pain right so really be conscious of that so another thing i've realized is that if you only depend on dating apps to meet other people what's going to happen is that you are no 
longer going to build up your courage, right? I've spoken to a lot of, and even cold approached a lot of women in the past few years in order to practice my own courage. And every time, even though I got rejected, they all taught me this one thing. And they taught me that I truly respect the fact that you had the balls to walk up to me because no man is doing this anymore. I started dating a few women and I like to ask them, so how many men actually walk up to you on a day-to-day basis or a weekly basis? And they all say, barely any man walks up to me. And I love to ask them, well, why is that? Why don't they walk up to you anymore? And they all say, well, they're afraid. They're afraid to walk up to me. And that is mind-blowing to me because a lot of these women are very beautiful, right? Please understand, if you see a beautiful woman, the majority of men do not walk up to her. The only thing she has is 50 men in her inbox on Tinder and Instagram, but no real man is really able to walk up to her. Now, obviously, it's still going to happen from time to time, but man, it's not going to happen as much as you think because the majority of men think the same way. They all don't have the courage anymore to do this. So please understand, if you do what 99% of people are doing, you are going to get the 99% of results, which a lot of times is isn't really that much, right? So if you go with the flow, if you go with what everyone else is doing, a lot of times you're gonna struggle with the exact same things. And this is what you see now. A lot of men struggle to even approach a woman these days. Back in the day, it was normal. Back in the day, you had no other option. You just grab yourself by the balls and just freaking walk up to this girl. Because how else are you gonna meet women? Now, obviously, I don't blame these people because your brain is always choosing the easiest way to get something, right? But it's just gonna make you so much weaker and you're not gonna be able to act with any courage in your day-to-day life anymore because guess what if you don't have the courage to walk up to a girl you probably don't have the courage to go after other things you want right courage is a muscle courage is something you build and if you can have courage in one area of life you can have it in the other area of life and before you know it you're actually a courageous person courage is so powerful and so strong because it allows you to get after what you want I got a little bit warmer so I had to get rid of my jacket because I'm drinking some good old tea in a very manly cup. Third thing I've realized is that it's a true waste of freaking time. First of all, you have to download the app, then you have to go through your folders and get your nicest photos from like five years ago or something, right? Then you have to craft a cheeky bio or whatever the hell. And then next day you have to swipe through all these profiles and you get horny while you do because all these girls are half naked these days, right? And then you get a match and you get into this superficial, lame, stupid conversation. You know, I'm just, I'm being quite extreme here. I know, but let's be honest guys this is what happens the majority of times then maybe you get a date right you get a date you meet up with the girl and she's not it you've wasted so much time just for this freaking date how about you just go about your day in real life you go to the gym you do your things right on a day-to-day basis and you simply develop the social skills to talk to anyone and to understand how to flirt and to understand how to get a number and to build the courage to walk up to a woman what's going to happen if you do that is that you just go about your day and you're able to meet anyone you want so if you see a pretty girl you walk up to her, you're gonna see if she's cool if she's cool you're gonna get a number if she's not cool you're not gonna get a number you know no time wasted you go on with your day it's just so much better guys once you develop proper social skills you don't want to go back to these freaking superficial websites and let's be honest no one really wants to be on tinder no one really wants to be on these dating apps but i would argue that the majority of men still using these dating apps have simply not developed the social skills to w- talk to a woman in real life because trust me when you can chat up and talk to a woman in real life without a problem you don't feel any need to get those dating apps anymore it becomes so much more fulfilling to just talk to people in real life you don't waste your time and next to that let's say you walk up to a pretty girl and you have the courage to walk up to her and you say hi what's up you've already separated yourself from the 50 men in the freaking inbox dying for her attention right because that is what is happening right now it will drain your soul it will drain your mind it will drain everything in you okay the fourth thing i've realized is that you are competing against another 50 men in her inbox if not more so what i've done i think about three years ago for fun right i made a tinder account and i made this tinder account and i just had a profile photo of a freaking avocado right but guess what i did i chose the gender as a female i just made a female account with a freaking avocado as a profile picture within 10 minutes i got a lot of likes i already got likes going in it's it's absolutely crazy so please realize if you're a freaking avocado and you're a woman you're gonna get more likes than a male you know, that is decently fit. You know, it's crazy. I realize how crazy this is. And I've checked women's Tinder, man, and the amount of terrible messages they get and the amount of messages they get. It's like, you really want to be part of those other messages. You really want to be that. Or you just separate yourself by talking to someone in real life, right? So guys, these are some of the reasons I will never use dating apps ever again. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.